Now the SUV segment in the past few years in India has boomed like anything, especially this 10 to 20 lakh bracket range. Now in this competition, we have the Creta, the Seltos, the Harrier, the Safari, the Hector, the Hector Plus, etc, etc. But none of these cars have made the hustle that the XUV700 did. And the main reason behind that is that Mahindra has changed literally everything about this car. Including the logo, which kind of looks like a, the old Maruti Suzuki logo or a butterfly. I don't know, you tell me. But that's not the point. The point is that the stakes for this car for Mahindra are really very high. Now Mahindra claims that this car has got the best in class space, the best in class features, the best in class engine, blah blah blah. Now is it as good as they are saying? Or is it just another average SUV? We are going to find out in this video. My name is Devi Sindhwani and you are watching The Drive. When you talk about an SUV, the road presence is something that is very very important. And believe me, this car has got plenty of it. Talking about the front of this car, you have these sable tooth like LED headlamps. These are all LED units, no halogens here. And then there is the gloss black treatment all around the grille with silver finishing. All in all, the bumper looks very bold and aggressive which is a very very nice thing. And then you have got the new Mahindra logo. Talking about the side of this car and the first thing that you notice is that you are instantly reminded of the XUV500, which I don't mind at all. And then there are these very talked about inside body door handles which we have seen in the S-Class and the Range Rovers. But I do have a little concern with reliability as they do tend to be gimmicky at times. The thing that you notice are these 18 inch alloy wheels which I think look pretty nice. As you go below the variants you get smaller 17 inch alloy wheels. Coming to the back you have got these LED tail lamps which have got these Audi like swirl function. And then you have the Mahindra logo which kind of looks aftermarket and uh, no fake exhaust tips which is very rare to see these days. Even the Hector has them and uh, that's pretty much about it. The XUV700 comes with two engine options, a 2 litre petrol and a 2.2 litre diesel engine. So the petrol engine creates 200 horses and 380 Nm of torque while the diesel engine produces 185 horses and 450 Nm of torque which is the best in its segment. Wait a second, does this cable look familiar? Yes it does, it resembles a lot like the previous generation Mercedes. Uh, and that's because uh, the layout of these touch screens and the placement of these seat adjustable buttons. Uh, but they don't feel like a cheap copy, in fact they're very very functional and also very high quality. The plastics used in this cabin are also of decent quality and you've got uh, soft touch materials on the uh, dashboard and on the doors and then you've got the cruise control settings over here on the steering and the volume controls over here. Here are 5 reasons why the XUV700 should not be your next car. Even though the looks are quite nice and imposing, the front end looks like a rip off of a Renault Magan or a Clio. Ventilated seats could have been something Mahindra should have added to the list of features to keep your buttocks nice and cool. In the past, Mahindra's products always had the latest greatest tech. But that didn't always mean it used to work properly. Same as with the new 700. Now we are not saying that the infotainment system will break, but we are in saying that it won't. If you opt for the 7 seater variant, the boot space becomes quite dismal. The color palette of the XUV700 is well quite boring. Yes, this blue looks pretty good, but the rest of the colors are pretty standard with white, silver, red and a black. Here are 5 reasons why the XUV700 should be your next car. The interior of the XUV700 is really nice with good materials all around and the look and feel of it is up there with the best. The tech and features of the 700 are really nice with good cameras and more importantly, Mahindra has taken their time to make sure that the digital screens aren't laggy and hard to use. Third is the pricing of the XUV, which is spot on and has undercut its competition with quite a huge margin, with prices starting from just 12.49 lakhs 
it undercuts the Harrier by almost 2 lakhs. Fourth will be that the XUV700 is a very practical SUV for the money with a huge cabin, huge rear passenger area and a decently sized boot as well. Fifth, the XUV700 actually gets AWD system and compared to any of its competitors, the Harrier, the Safari, Creta or whatever, it will actually outperform all of them in any type of off-road situation. So if you're looking for an SUV and you have a budget of let's just say 13 to 27 lakhs, then this car should definitely be in your consideration list. Talk about features, performance, looks and the important factor, value for money. This car excels in all of these fields. And believe me, as an Indian, I do feel very proud to say that this car has been manufactured by an Indian company. So kudos Mahindra. But as Spider-Man's car enthusiast uncle once said, with great features come great reliability issues. But that is something that is yet to be seen. Till then, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, do comment and like and please subscribe to the Drivers Hub. See you in the next one. I would really like to thank in the Prastha Mahindra for providing us this XV700. They have their showroom in Pashchim Vihar, New Delhi and they have all the Mahindra cars which are on the market right now. So if you are looking for a Mahindra vehicle, Indra Prastha Mahindra is your place to go. McRae on the inside, going to take it. And Senna sprints away, Senna!